Hi there everyone, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my latest purchase. This is the Anstecker 4K camcorder. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, I like doing unboxing videos in case there's somebody out there who's debating buying this product and they want to get a good idea of what does it look like, should you order it when you open it, um, that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Ordered this item off of Amazon.com. I will put um, a link to the product in my video in case you're interested. Let's take a look at it. I've got an SLR camera, but I don't have anything that does 4K and I don't have any way to record video, so that's why I wanted to get this. Wow, I can't believe this thing's great. I was actually kind of surprised when I um, ordered it online. I just expected it to be bigger. I haven't had a camcorder in a while. I've used some point and shoot cameras and again, I just switched to an SLR, um, but it's been a long time since I've had a camcorder. This thing looks great. Uh, a lot smaller than I expected it to be. Let me give you a view of the box. It also does still shot. It's got a 24 megapixel uh, camera built into it. And again, the video quality is 4K and it also does night shots. So I'm excited about that. I'm planning on using this for wildlife videoing. So we'll see how it works. Anyway, there's the unboxing of it. I'll get it open and we'll take a look at the camera and uh, see if I can show you some of the features and video quality. Okay, I was going to go ahead and open up the packaging just because I thought you might be curious of what's on the inside, what does it come with, and uh, we'll do that now. Nicely packaged. Oops. I'm assuming that's some kind of mounting clip. And it looks like we have a there's the lens in the lens cover. Polishing cloth, and it looks like some the user manual. Wow, there's quite a few boxes in here. Here's another one. And I'm assuming that is for the mounting bracket for your microphone and the microphone itself. This is your lens hood. It's a wide angle lens, so it's a wide angle uh, hood as well. And here we have your charging, uh, let's see, that's a microphone earphone jack it looks like. <clears throat> lens cover, the battery charger. Two batteries, HDMI cable, a regular standard charging cable, remote, a 
and, uh, and it looks like a warranty manual or a product, an actual product manual. And then here's a card, uh, basically for if you've got any problems, it's how to contact their customer service. So there's that. And last but not least, it's the camera itself. It's in a nice um, carrying case, Velcro closure. Very well packaged. <clears throat> and there's the camera itself. It's about the size of like a Sony Handycam. I'm trying to think of just uh, something to give you an equivalent. But it's, um, I mean, it fits nicely in the hand. Beautiful. Can't wait to fire it up and see how it works. All right, so there's a complete unboxing for you, and I'm gonna go get it charged and see how it works. Hey everyone, so I, I wanted to try and do a quick demonstration of how the setup on this camera works, and I'm not real sure how well this is gonna uh, come in on my video, but you've got your start and stop button. That's how you start, um, start your video, or stop your video, or uh, take a picture. Um, you've got this open button that just opens up your uh, door to put your battery in. You've got this wheel here that basically has a set mode, has a video mode, and has a camera mode. So if you're wanting to do your settings, you'd want to be on that. If you want to do video, you'd want to be on this one. If you want to do a picture, you'd want to be on this one. But within each of these, you have different settings. Um, I'm going to show you that now, if I can. When you open the camera, it automatically will cut on. You can also use the power button to cut it off or to cut it on manually. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see the screen, but um, if you click menu, everything's touch screen, so it's really pretty easy. You've also got some buttons over here that you can do manual. So for example, I could have pressed menu here and it would have done the same thing. But um, yeah, that's it. So like for example, right now I'm in the picture mode. Well, if I move this wheel, I'm just gonna go to the setting mode and you'll see that the menu changes. So I can go into setup and it's pretty easy. You can do things like, um, okay, my sound. Do we want it making that sound? Yes or no. So I'm gonna cut that off. Now all of a sudden there'll be no sounds. Um, the date, do I want to set my date? Do you want it on? Do you want it off? Or do you want to set it? And then you just click it and you set it. So everything's touch screen. Everything's really easy. I gotta give this company credit. A lot of times when you buy these uh, electronics that are made in China or Japan, the instruction manuals are usually usually horrible. This one was actually really well written, really easy to follow. So I had no uh, issues with that. The only thing I was gonna mention is there's a little slot over here for SD card. Uh, the max SD card size you can use is 128 gigabytes and the directions recommend that it's class 10 or higher. The interesting thing and the reason I, I wanted to bring it up is there is a hard drive built onto this camera so you don't have to use an SD card. You can actually record to a hard drive but if your battery dies or if the battery is taken out, anything on the hard drive is automatically uh, erased completely. So I would definitely recommend the SD card. If you've got an SD card in there, everything gets recorded to the SD card. The battery dies or if uh, battery gets taken out, everything stays on your SD card. So you definitely want to have an SD card if you're using this camera. But, um, but no, again, um, the menu, everything's touchscreen. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. And... Um, just to show you, I'll go into the video mode. So if you click on the menu in here, you're going to get different options. For example, you can adjust your resolution, uh, your metering, stuff like that. If you go into the camera mode, you can adjust things like the megapixel size and, and all of that. So that's a quick look at the settings. Very easy, not too complicated at all. Um, the screen does adjust, which I love. Uh, there's a lot of cameras where it's a fixed screen. You can move the screen any direction you want to. Um, I'm going to take it outside and we'll get some video and I'll uh, give you a demonstration or at least uh, some sample clips of what the video quality looks like. All 
All right, it's hummingbird season, uh, migration season down here in Texas. So I'm gonna try and get some video footage of a hummingbird just to give you an example of what the video quality is like. I'm not sure if we'll see any or not, but there's one. Uh, he didn't come to the feeder. He's probably a little nervous with me here. But at least maybe you saw enough just to get an idea of the quality. And sorry, I'm freestanding here. I don't have a tripod or anything like that, so if it's shaking, that's why. <laughs> 